the final episode of Darling in the Franks, episode 24, Never Let Me Go. What is going on everybody, it is I, Fomencho, back at it once again with another Darling in the Franks review slash reaction. Today we are checking out the final episode, the last episode. The show is over, well, not yet, I have to watch the episode first. But yes, the, the, everything leads to this. I'm really curious to see how this show ends. I have not been spoiled, I have not seen anything about this episode. I'm really curious, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Last, last week's episode was... A bit weird, uh, to say the least, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm curious at this point, I really am, I just, I don't know, what, let's find out, let's watch this episode. I'm going deeper. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Never let me go, let's go. <laughs> We're going back to Earth. You need special treatment, Kokoro. Zorome enters the fray, man. I like this. Actually, I, I do like this. This is cool. It's kind of just cool to see all this stuff over again. This is pretty feel good. I can dig it. I can dig it. I like, yeah, this is cool. Like, just whoosh, zoom out like that. That's cool. <laughs> oh man, guys. <laughs> Papa number one. Man, that was that was really good. <laughs> it's good to see her again. <laughs> To everyone who thought she was dead. Goro's still coming through. Friend zone. <laughs> Yo, never mind. <laughs> okay. I really like that. That was really cool. 383 days, wow. Oh man, can they stop this? This is bad, guys. It's not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. Guys, why is this kind of good? This is kind of good. Really cool how they link this man this this call to the opening This is this is actually kind of good guys. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm digging this That was a good cut right there <laughs> That's so cool. <clears throat> wow. Wow, guys. <laughs> oh, man. They're redeeming these characters, and I love it. Like... Guys, what the hell? This is a good ending. School? Yo, Futoshi has a mustache now. <laughs> and a new story begins. Just like that. That was really good. Wow. I'm not even gonna lie, that ending has me feeling a certain kind of way. It's, it's, it's really, really climactic and actually well written, which is strange for this series at this point. Um, I thought it was handled really, really well. For, I mean, you know, anime in general don't typically have great endings. 
Uh, and I don't think this ending is, is great or anything like that. I think it is a very, just a solid ending. I think that it was a very safe ending. And that's okay for this series. I think that, 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 I think it was necessary for this series, actually, with how crazy things have been, with how just wacky things have been. I think it's okay to have an ending that's a little more grounded and a little more just like, hey, everything's alright, we fixed it, we, we got it done, and, and I like that. I thought that was actually well handled. Um, really interesting to see everyone growing up. I don't really like these kinds of, k kinds of endings where we're just like, let's go see them all as adults now. Like, I, I don't really like that. Um, it kind of, it's actually kind of frustrating, it's kind of, again, it's safe. But I think it works here because of how the show has been structured and, and how it's uh, talked about adults and how adults been kind of have been kind of a theme throughout the series and, and how just humanity as a whole has been kind of a theme. So I think that it actually works here. Uh, I, I, I don't know if it's if it's done to perfection or anything like that, but I think it is it makes sense. It makes sense for this series and, and, and I like it. It's really, really cool to see all the characters growing up too. Seeing Goro's design, seeing seeing just everybody, seeing Ikono, you know, in this in, in, in the hospital or whatever, seeing her getting close to Naomi was really cool. I really like that. Seeing I just it's it's really just it's it's feel good. It's very, very feel good. Uh, I don't think this series deserves an ending like this. I don't think a series deserves an ending this good, to be honest. Um, because I, you know, I've had my problems in the past with it, but I'm not gonna, going to, 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 you know, lie to you and say that this wasn't a good ending. I, again, I don't think it's perfect. I'm, because of the series, you know, me not liking the last few episodes, uh, or the last, like, five or six episodes, but I think that this is still... A good ending. There's nothing. There's nothing else to say about it. This was a good episode. I thought it, that that it was actually very. It was beautifully done. I thought. I thought it was a beautiful ending. That final shot was really, really nice. And then a new story begins. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, it, regardless of how I felt about the show in the past, it, there's, there's, there's no cutting it. This was a really good ending to a decent anime. I guess <laughs> this, is, this is kind of my final word there. Um, again, it was just. Really cool to see everyone grown up, seeing what these people become, seeing, you know, Mitsuru and, and, and him becoming a father. I thought that was really cool. I liked how the episode was paced. I like how we kind of went back and forth, the time skimps. I thought that that was well edited. I thought that was well written. And I, I, think, it, I think it just worked really well there. The direction in this episode uh, was surprisingly good because it hasn't been great in, in a while and I thought that, that they must have had like their A-team working on this one or something because the direction here was probably some of the better this entire series and I'm not speaking on behalf of the actual story itself and how the show ended but just how the episode was structured and how we kind of got that back and forth uh, between Earth and up in space I thought that was handled really really well um, I don't really know what the ending implies. I think I think I don't think we're getting a second season or anything like that. I'm going going to stop that theory here and there. I don't think this is going to have a second season. I think that that was a clear cut ending. It was just the reunion, just to say, hey, Zero Two and 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 Hero get to be together. Like th that that was kind of just like their way of doing that. I don't think that, that that's, oh, another story? We're going into more Klaxosaurs? Like, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to, I think that's it. I think we're done here. And that's a good thing. Let's end the series, because it ended actually really well. Uh, my favorite moment of this episode was when everyone uh, was joined hands by the statue of, of Zero Two, uh, looking up into the stars, and basically, I guess, praying, kind of just giving them their best of wishes. And I, I thought that was actually, that moment to me was actually really emotional. That, that actually, I felt that. Uh, because you kind of feel the connection of the entire squad there. You feel, uh, it, again, like in previously, like the first like 12 episodes, they've built up these characters so well. Um, you know, they might have been slow episodes, they might have been weirdly paced throughout the season, but they still count, they still matter. And that is really, really cool. We've gotten those moments with Futoshi. We've gotten those moments with, with Zorome. We've seen that development there. And seeing these characters all grown up is 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 a tad bit emotional. You definitely feel that. Um, that sense of, of, look where we have gone. Like, I really like that. Uh, the moment that, that Kokoro gave birth, that... That felt, that hit me hard. Seeing Mitsuru in tears, seeing Futoshi just like grab him, give him a hug, like that again, another really emotional moment, something I really felt there because they built up the relationship between Squad 13. Probably the only thing they built up really, really well in this series, in my opinion, are the characters. 
I think that the characters have been very well... I, sadly, Hero has gotten the least amount of development, in my opinion, but everyone else has gotten a good thick of development that is really paying off in this final episode. And it's really just kind of... It, it's kind of taken emotions out of me, for sure. I, it's making me, making me feel a little bit sad about the ending. And that's crazy. I, I really do have a love-hate relationship with this series. It, more, a little more love than hate, I guess. I, I don't know. It, it's, it's an okay series. I'm gonna probably make another video talking more in depth about the series as a whole. Um, definitely gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be live streaming later and stuff like that where I can talk more about this uh, in depth. But I definitely feel like that this this was a good end to the series. I think that that's what's important here. Um, that is what this episode is supposed to be, is an ending, and I thought that it handled it really well. I thought this was a really good ending. Um, again, I don't know if this series deserves that, but I think it just, it, it worked. It worked for me. Uh, definitely, I, I got a little emotional. I really did. Um, before I end this video, and before I, you know, do my typical sign-off, I want to thank each and every single one of you that have followed me throughout this series, because... This has been the most lucrative series I've ever covered on this channel. I mean, th th these are some of my most popular anime reviews. Um, not even reactions, just reviews. People that watch my reviews, that means a lot to me. It really does, because I know reactions are kind of clickbaity, and, I, you know, the reviews are more of just me talking, and, and the fact that people have joined into that. Some of those videos have over 3K, over 4K, I think... Like episode 15 or something has like over 5k which is insane I think if I recall correctly I could be wrong I probably am wrong I'm probably just giving myself more credit than than is needed um, but yeah just 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 thank you guys very 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 just I can't even speak because I'm just so appreciative of all of you guys that have followed me throughout the series uh, regardless of how I feel about it I still appreciate that viewership I still I very much enjoy talking about this show every single week um, I mean minus like three weeks that the show went on hiatus but it, it, it's just it's been a really good time it really has I'm sad to see it go because of you guys not even because of what the series has built up or how good the ending was but just because I no longer have to talk about it with you guys and that's sad to me you know no, no longer reading Max Salazar's crazy predictions no longer reading Dojo's crazy predictions uh, no longer streaming and, and, and theorizing with Neko-chan and BB and, and, and the rest of the game, Lev, and just everybody. You guys have really just made these reviews worth it, made these reviews fun for me, and um, I'm getting a little bit emotional. Oh man, <laughs> more emotional than the episode itself, I'm not even gonna lie. Thank you guys so very much, this series has been an absolute blast to cover. And, um, yeah, I probably will do another video talking more in depth, maybe like a whole series review. I definitely want to get that done. Um, but yeah, this was a, it was a good episode. I'm curious to, to hear your guys' thoughts. Make sure to comment down below. Give me your theories on the next episode. No, I'm joking. Uh, let me know what you think of this ending. Did some of your theories come true here? Um, did some of your dreams for these characters come true? Did you cry? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I will try my very best to read through each and every single one of them. Just because I don't reply doesn't mean I don't read them. And doesn't mean I don't... Uh, appreciate them. I apologize in the past for not replying. I would try my very best to get on each and every single one of those comments uh, because they, again, mean very, very much to me. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed anything that I had to talk about today. You can also subscribe for more not Darling in the Franks reviews because the show is over. Actually, I, yeah, I am doing my series review. You can subscribe for that. Uh, my Hero Academia is still going strong and there's some new anime coming out. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to cover yet. By the way, if you want me to cover or check out a certain series, you can comment that down below as well and I will check it out uh, on your behalf and maybe I'll make a video about it. Uh, so yeah, definitely look forward to more anime reviews in the future. I do some gaming stuff too here and there. Uh, definitely trying to build that side of the channel up a little bit more. Um, yeah, so subscribe to this channel for, for, just join the party. Just, just join the party. There's no, I don't even have to tell you. Just join. Just join the party. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. As always, Bye bye